All right, so I'm gonna try and show how to open this Alienware Aurora Ryzen Edition 10. Um, so the power supply on this went bad, so I'm just gonna try and show how you open it up. I know there's a mess all over my desk, but whatever. All right, anyways, you go to the back here and there's a little screw. You wanna remove that screw there. Sorry, my recording setup is not designed for giant desktops, so this is gonna be tough to see. But anyways, I'm just taking this one screw out. Hopefully you can see, okay. Oh, my screen share thing just died. Anyways, once you remove that screw, you can pull on this lever. You just pull it straight back, okay? Once you pull it back, you can pull this cover off like this. Normally, I would have the computer on the ground um, standing up, not laying on its side. But what you do, you grab this, and then you can kind of lift it and pull it out. So there's these little latches. When you put it back, you have to make sure they go into the little slots down here. Um, but yeah... So I'm going to try, I'll try and show this. I don't know if it'll come out properly, but we'll see. All right. After you remove that on the back, there are two locks. Okay. So there's one lock here and one lock here. So you want to do this while the computer's standing up, not on its side like this. But anyways, you push this lock to the unlock position and this lock to the unlock position. All right. I'm just going to be doing the power supply. So what I'm going to do is disconnect the SATA cable here. So you just grab this, kind of wiggle it and pull it. Okay, there's the um, PCIe or PCI power for the graphics card. So you just squeeze the little clip and then you just wiggle it and pull it out just like that. After you do that, you're gonna we're gonna lift this whole piece up. So what I do is just find a place to grab like here, okay? And then just pull it straight up just like that. Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show this in camera. Let's see, you got the... Um, two connectors here so you just pinch this as well and then just wiggle it and pull that up okay and then same thing with this one there's the connector there pinch that there's a little clip you can't really see it here but pinch that and then you kind of wiggle and pull that up all right um so that's how you remove that i'm getting somebody at my door so i'll be back in a bit all right i'm back sorry about that so anyways um to remove the power supply we have to remove the four screws here the cables are all threaded around, but we're going to remove these four screws first. Okay. Let's see here. We're probably going to have to remove the plate on top of it as well. power supply is going to slide down okay so we're going to put this and then we're going to take off this plate as well there's two screws sorry this isn't going to really be a well it's basically a normal desktop build other than this stuff so there's not really too much to show if you don't know how to do basic desktop i don't know if you should be messing with this because you want to be very careful all right so take those two screws out then we should be able to lift this out okay looks like this hooks in there so when you put this back you do have to kind of hook that in first and then there's a little notch there you slide that down and then put those screws so I'm going to take that out okay so let's see here does this just come out okay the power supply just comes out just like this nice and easy but the only problem is we do have to get the other stuff out let me see if there's a power supply rating on here so this is Model HU550EGM-00. Um, I just want to see the output. This is a 550 watt um, output power supply. So if you replace it, you want a 550 watt or higher, probably. Sometimes you can go a little bit lower, but you don't want to go too low. Okay, then this cable looks like it's all caught under here. So I have to figure out how to get this fan out, actually. Hmm. Um, I don't see how you would remove this fan. It's kind of weird. It has this little squishy stuff in here. So I would assume we just yank it out. I don't know. Okay, it looks like it's clipped on something here. So I'm going to try and figure this out. I haven't figured this out before. It looks like there used to be um, a screw 
oops, sorry, it looks like there was a screw here and then there's also a screw here, but that didn't have a screw in it. So I don't know if somebody messed with that or at the manufacturing, they just didn't finish it. Okay, so I'm gonna take this one screw out. Hopefully it's that simple. Okay, cut that screw out. It looks like there's a sliding mechanism here. So I think I have to just slide it back this way to the right. Yes, that's correct. All right, then we can get this out of the way. All right, I'm not gonna really take the fan out though. It's really easy, you just pull this plug up. Or I guess I can take it out. So you just grab this and then just wiggle and pull it out. Okay, um, I probably should have taken a look. I guess it says here, fan top. So that's how you know it's this one. There's also a fan pump connector there. All right, so anyways, let's pull this out. So this, you just pull these to the sides and then you get the um, power connector out just like this. You can pull each little wire at a time by itself. All right, then this goes out from under here. There we go, not very difficult, okay. The only part is figuring out that fan thing that was a little bit different, All right? Then we're gonna just thread these wires out. Okay, and now we'll just remove this whole power supply, just like this. So it looks like you should be able to use a standard ATX power supply, um, though if you do need these special cables, you wanna make sure you get this. This is for like, um, I think a small CD drive, so one of those uh, mini ones, slim ones for laptops, but uh, this computer doesn't actually have one in there. Anyways, um, that's pretty much it. You just put everything back in and slide it back the same way. And like I was saying, with the cover, you have to get it in those, oops, the notches. They're down here right now because they're at the base. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. They didn't use much. They used this, I think it's a 24-pin ATX. And then there's the 8-pin eight pin, eight pin CPU power connector. And then they just used the one SATA and the one three uh, six pin PCI. So that's pretty much it. 550 watts. Power supply and stuff is very easy to remove. There's this, um, there's this little latch down here, just like all the other desktops. You push that latch down. Let's see if it will come out. I don't know if I have to take any screws out. It doesn't look like there's any screws here. Okay, so we should be able to just push this thing down. There we go, just like that on the wings. And then after you do that, you can, you should be able to lift it up. I don't know why it's kind of stuck. There we go, okay, just like that. And the video card comes out like that. You can possibly put a bigger um, video card, but then you will need, you'll probably need a um, more power. Um, there's a wireless card here. If you watch my other videos, I show how to remove these. Just one screw, you pop it out. There's RAM here. Let me actually check what type of RAM. I'm not gonna take everything else out, but just doing a quick look inside. I don't wanna risk damaging this computer. Okay. Just like that. All right, then we got the RAM here. So to take out the RAM, just pull these things to the side. All right, the RAM will pop out. This is, oh, I hate Kingston RAM. Sometimes they don't show the thing. Okay, 16 gigs. So this is a 16 gig stick. I guess it's a 3200. Um, and I believe this is PC4, so I think it's DDR4. Um, if not, you can look up the models. Hopefully you can figure it out. I don't know, it's kind of blurry. Uh, let me zoom in and see if you can get a better, there you go. So hopefully you can figure that out just from those model numbers. But anyways, I'm going to put that back in. You got the two USB 3 port thingies here. This is for the SATA connector to the hard drive. This is, I think, the front panel. Or this might be the front panel connectors and this might be the audio. I don't know. But anyways, that's all there is to this that I'm going to show. Hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, like and subscribe. And I'll see you in another one. To put it back, just do everything in reverse. Same thing with the fan. Plug it back in the same spot. And you do have to slide it over the opposite way. All right. Let's see. I think I'm going to get another power supply. And we'll just drop it in the same way. I don't know if there's anything else. Um, this doesn't have any screws. But yeah. All right. Let me grab another power supply real quick, actually. I'm going to get like a used one just to test it. All right, so I got a replacement power supply. This one I think is 500 watts. Hopefully it works properly. 
I'll test it, make sure everything's good. Anyways, we got the uh, video card connector that we needed. We got the um, motherboard ATX connector. Okay, we don't need the floppy connector. And we don't need, let's see here, there's junk stuck on it. Don't need all the IDE connectors. Let's try and arrange these and see if it drops in properly. This might have to be, oh, I have to flip it upside down actually. So it has to go in this way because you want the fan sticking out because there's no vents on the bottom. Okay, so let's see, do the screw holes line up? Um, I think so, kind of. It's a little bit misaligned, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to put that in. We'll find out. I'm going to try. All right, so let's see here. I get... Let's see, is that going to work? Okay, this screw's going in. All right, get this screw in. Oh, it's hard to see. I need better lighting here. Yeah, I don't think this the screws are going to line up right. They're a little bit off. Um, I think the shape of this is slightly different. The shape of the other one is a lot more boxy, it looks like. Or maybe it's just not in all the way. Yeah, so it's kind of iffy. I don't know if you can... You can try you might you might not be able to fit one of these i don't think it will make sense to put it upside down like this no definitely the screw holes do not line up so it does need to go this way but um yeah it looks like getting the screws to line up right it, i'm gonna have to like drill some new holes or something in here so i don't know the screws kind of line up but not really I'm gonna like try and tilt it up like this and see if that'll work I mean I can definitely get the screw in if I tilt it up like that but that's kind of weird squeeze the two layers together let's see if I can get these ones in oh it does work okay so I'm going to have to do some tricks to get it to go in. Because the screw holes don't completely line up. They're slightly up a little bit. There we go. Alright, so I got all the screws lined up. Now we just tighten it up. And that'll hopefully pull it in. Oh yeah, it's working. Okay, maybe I should use my drill to make this easier. Okay. Working though, definitely working. All right, there we go. Tighten that up. There we go. Tighten the last one in. Perfect. Okay, it's all tightened up. I'm gonna turn the power supply off so that way when I plug it into power, it won't get power into it right away. Yeah, that's a good workout, tightening this. Okay. Just like that. Okay, now we got... These won't be used, so I'm going to leave them up here. This one is the CPU connector. It only has a 4-pin, but it will also work. Okay. What else do we got here? We got more um, Molex and ones for like floppy drives. We don't need that. And then we got the SATA connectors here. I think there's only one SATA drive here, so we don't need any of that except for one. So I'm going to plug this one in this okay and then I'm gonna tuck the rest under in here we're gonna lift this up and then we're gonna plug in the rest of the connectors 
actually got the CPU on here. Let's plug this one in first. So we got the square and the round one. I think that goes on the left side. I don't think it goes on the right side. Yeah, so it goes on the left side. There we go. Let's see if we can hide these cables back in here like it was before. Um, kind of, not really. So I can tuck in half of it, which is okay. And then we'll get the video cable here. PCIe, PCIe power cable. Okay. We'll plug that one in. Just like that. Hopefully you can actually see everything I'm doing. Okay, and then we got the power supply or the motherboard, um, what do you call it, ATX connector. Okay, this is a 24 pin connector. And get that and plug that one in. Okay, line that up. And then put that in and plug it down. All right, make sure it clicks in all the way. And there we go. Let's put back the fan. Okay, so the fan connects right here. All right, and then we have to slide this over, same thing. So like we did before, we slid it over to the right. So now basically you start it over slightly to the right. Well, it's a little bit difficult to get this lined up right especially with this short cable. So I'm going to have to close this a little to get the more slack. All right. Any more slack. Sorry, I know it's going to be blocking your view now, but hopefully you get the idea. Is this cable in the way? Okay. So get this in there, the fan. There we go. And then we have to slide it over. So get it all lined up. I need to see what I'm doing here. So let me, oops, sorry. Okay, so get that lined up with these little sliding pieces here. And then slide it over. And there you go. These are locked in. We just have to put that one screw in. All right, get that one screw. Hopefully that power supply is working. I haven't tested it, but it should be good. Right, and got it from another computer that had a motherboard issue. All right, so we'll tighten this one in. And there we go, we got the fan in place. Everything else looks good. So lay this back on its side. And then we'll close this one down. There we go, put all these cables hidden back under. Okay, now that we got all of these hidden back under, Take this metal plate. This metal plate will keep everything nice and tidy in there. Again, you put this little foot down here, hook it underneath first, and then we just latch this over on top. Go, grab the last two screws and tighten them down. Let's close that. Just like this. All right, and tighten this one down. All right, now we just need to put the cover back on, put the last screw in, and we should be good to go. So again, this normally would be sitting on the foot here, on the base, down here. So what I have to do, find the one with these little notches, and then put that in first, okay? It's hard to see from this angle, but normally you would see where you're putting those little notches underneath this panel. And once you get it lined up right, then you can push this in. So I'm going to have to do that out of view of camera, I think, because this is probably going to hit my camera. Let me see here. Actually, oh, okay. Actually, I can have it in camera. So let's, see, let's take this out. Okay, so what you do, make sure to line up these, those little metal things. All right, slide it in, get the bottom in first, and then you can close it up like that. All right, and that's pretty much it. Put back that last screw, and we're good to go. That's assuming you had a power supply issue. All right, so hopefully this video helped you guys. Um, I, did, I didn't mention, but it's a SATA 3.5-inch 
hard drive, but you can upgrade it to a two and a half inch SATA hard, uh, SSD. But yeah, all right. Hopefully this video helped. I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.